Good morning, Market Market Tech Channel. Today I'm going to talk about OBS Studio because uh, I am going to help you how you can install it and how you can use the OBS Studio if you want to stream anywhere or if you want to make recording or all the basic things I will I'm going to teach you. First of all, you need to visit the OBS uh, website. The website name is obsproject.com. Here you can install this uh, OBS uh, software. The software you can click on here if you are using Windows, if you are using Mac or Linux. So let's say I am using Windows, so I will click here and I will download the OBS. Now you, the download is already start. After the download will install, you need to install the OBS. After the OBS will install, you will see this interface. Uh, whenever you will be here in this interface there are a lot of options that I'm going to teach you like you see that my, my screen is available here and there is background and there are some more options that I'm going to teach each and everything let's say I will just close uh, the video capture, capture device here and uh, later I will let you know how you can add the videos let's say first of all I will just close all this one other than the audio because I am using the audio but I will teach you how you can use the uh, audio as well. So from here uh, display I am also going to remove. So first thing what you will do whenever you, the OBS is already open you need to uh, look for that display. How you can uh, capture the display you can click here on the plus icon and after that you can click on display capture. Whenever you will have a, this option, then you can just name my my OBS OBS display. But it's up to you. But if you don't want to make a name, let's say I will click OK and I will have a display like this. Now here you can see automatic display. Uh, it's resolution as per your monitor, primary monitor, automatic or you want to change as per your requirement but I'm using automatic because this is the um, primary monitor detail about my system so I will just click OK. So I will have a display. So uh, whenever I need to change the display setting or uh, I need to manage this one, uh, what I will do, I will just click here and uh, I will click uh, on shift and I will click here and I will make it small uh, and adjust but uh, this is little big so what I will do I will just uh, um, manage, it, manage it as per my screen so I will just make it small first and after that I am going to make it bigger again as per my screen size now you can see it's when you go up or down it's moving automatically all sides but I don't want that it will go out of the display so I, will, I want to fix this display as per my screen so I will just use the shift key and I will just make it proper setting for the whole display okay so I am using the shift key to manage the display setting so this display is already set okay so after that uh, I'll show you how you can manage the camera and uh, uh, images at the background and all okay if you want to uh, let's say I want to cut this area I, I don't want to show this area my tool my window bar where are my tools are so I, what I will do here I will just click alt then I will just make it up now you can see that my tools area is not available. Same thing you, if you don't want to show the upper side you can use the same alt on keyboard and click here. Now you can see only the area where uh, I am going to show you only the display of the OBS. So same thing you can do it here or here if you want to uh, crop this areas and if you want that your window will be uh, full. So you can click shift again and use the mouse and make it as per your screen size. So this is the option how you can manage the display setting. Next thing is your audio. Okay, I will click on here and I will click audio input, uh, input or output. Now I am using let's say I am using 
audio input it's i am using the mic so i will click on mic i will click ok and here you can choose whatever the mic you are using because i already using this uh, microphone so i already have this setup so i am you can choose anyone that is part of you if you are using the headphone or if you are using mic or anything that is easy for you so i just click this one and then after that click okay so the your audio will be already here and you can start your recording and next thing uh, the more important thing that people are looking for uh, using obs so what are the important that camera device so camera device whenever you will use you need to make a setup for the camera device for camera device i will just click here again on plus icon and i will click here video capture device whenever i will click video capture device you can name it anything that i let's say i will just use uh, my camera so i will click on okay and there will be an it's article automatically uh, the camera will be appear I, i will click okay and you will see that my camera is appeared here so i will just make it a small using the mouse and i will just drag anywhere i want so let's say i want to put the camera here and if you can see that i have a bad uh, green screen at my back because why i am using the green screen because uh, i want to uh, i don't want to share my background so yeah, that's why i am using the green screen let's say uh, i want that my background is not any more green and i will change my background with any anything okay i can put the uh, um, let's say any video clip or any picture so how to do that i will let, i will share with you that one also so for doing that first thing what you need to do you need to click on your uh my camera and you can go to filter whenever you will you will come here on filter if you already have a green screen if you don't have then it will not work okay so you have to have a green screen at background before you can do this chroma setting so i will click plus and after that i will use chroma key so i will just click okay and now you see i don't have any background now there is nothing behind me the uh, the background is clear so you can see that uh, if i will go out of the camera then but background is there is nothing on my background now the background is gone now if i will click okay now you can see that my background is not there anymore but i can use anywhere i will put this my camera setting or i can make big or small whatever i want i will just put it here and i will just make it small so what i want to do let's say i want to do and i want to have a another background because currently my background is only the the screen that i am sharing with you as per this um, current background is nothing so i am clear with the uh, display so even the back side you can see all the say, setting of the uh, um, obs and all these things so now i will show you how you can add the background so what you will do you can click here at the plus icon again and after that you can uh, use the let's say i want to use uh, video clip so i will just use the source as a video vlc video source whenever you will click here after that you can put any name you want and click okay after that you can click this plus icon because this plus icon will bring you where your files are available to add so i can click add and it will bring me here uh, wherever my files are available so i will just choose any video clip here let's say i want to use this video clip uh, and i will click okay now you see this video clip is available here so i will just make it small uh, the video clip and uh, and after that you can see this video clip i will make it more small and i want this video clip behind me okay i'll just put it here front of my uh, picture 
so this is your OBS and this is your uh, background and see my background is here but you cannot see me anymore why because I need to source this camera front of the background so if you can see here my camera is on a second and then my first file is DLC video source what I will do I will just drag and drop here under the camera now you can see the background is uh, the background is at the back and uh, I am on front because this is the your uh, setting of your uh, mm, display that what is the thing that top of your uh, mm, display so camera is on your uh, first then the your background is second after that your OBS display then last is your audio so I want that uh, let's say uh, background is done so but I want that my background will be not this uh, uh, like this or a video clip I will just uh, remove this one let's say I, I want to remove this one I will select this one or I will just click here video source and I will click minus here and I will close now you see the background is gone now I want that I will put a picture behind me you can choose any your house picture or any picture you like so I will choose one picture here and I will click on plus icon here and I will go to images so image when you click the image after that you can click ok and now you can browse the image any image you want to use then you can just choose the image I will go back to the source of my let's say I like this image I will click this one and I will click open now this image I want to use for my display background and I will just make it this one small as I teach you how you can make it small it's a simple then you need to do this the same thing now I'm image, image should be on the second now you can see the image is behind me now I just want to make some setting here for my uh, uh, camera so I will just make it here or I will make it big there are more settings if you want that uh, you can have some table here front of you uh, but uh, this is little advanced level that it's designed like a studio uh, I can make a video for this that how you can make a studio at your home and it will it's a long um, video that I'm going to make that how you can make a studio at your home and you can have a very good little good looking uh, very good looking uh, professional video for you so mm, from here you can see now you have a display setting you have your input you have your audio video everything you can see now if I will just make it big here this is my background and I will just uh, make this one here small or making make myself more bigger size I just click it here and I am sitting like a newsroom here you can design a table if I, as I told you but this is a, another project that I am going to create a video for that that in near future you can uh, use and make a studio behind you so from here uh, in this background I like it so I am thinking I will do that background and I will put this one here I will just make myself more smaller so it will not look obvious so here is the uh, background and now I will teach you that how you can have a live stream okay how you can connect your OBS with live stream um, and uh, the before that I will teach you one small thing okay uh, before that I will let you know how you can uh, do recording for recording you just need to click here you can see here it's the option stop recording if I will click stop recording recording will be stopped but here you can see if recording is not start you can see here start recording you just need to start rec recording and after that the recording will start whatever you are doing it here as per your display but before that you can set your images your the background your input output device and display capture device make the setting crop it or uh, use the alt key as i said use alt key for the cropping and uh, the shift key for the adjustment big and small your vi window and after that you can just click recording it will start now you want to use uh, uh, now you want to use uh, a live streaming for that you need to click on setting first whenever you will click setting it will bring you in this page 
and you need to add your youtube account okay you need to click on stream after you whenever you will click on stream you will need to connect whenever you will click connect here after that i am already connected so i am not using it whenever you will connect it after that it will ask you to log in by your uh, youtube account you need to give the youtube account and after that you need to click okay whenever you will click okay your obs system will be connected to your youtube um, and you can go to the live stream in youtube and there you can choose the option of live stream with uh, uh, software then you are able to connect each other because here you are already connected whenever you will go live and after that you can just connect uh, use uh, live stream uh, for uh, with software because whenever you will go live, live stream you will have an option there so that's all to, that's all for today if you need any further help just let me know comments and uh, subscribe my channel so you will know the future videos uh, thank you for watching thanks a lot have a nice day